All right, for example three, we have a quartic function, x to the fourth power. So we're dividing all this stuff, which is the dividend, by this divisor, which is the quadratic divisor, x squared minus 2x plus 1. It's still a polynomial division problem, even though this is less pleasant looking than the last problem looked like, right? This is my dividend. This is my divisor. Fourth power, third power, second power, first power, constant. Descending order happening here. Second power, first power, constant. Descending order happening here. My divisor is x squared minus 2x plus 1. That goes outside. My dividend is x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. Every power of x is accounted for inside. Every power of x is accounted for outside, so no zero terms are necessary. Okay. And it looks less pleasant than the other ones did, even though the other ones even look pleasant at all. But compared to the other ones, this is less pleasant, right? But it's the same technique. I've got polynomial divided by polynomial. There's a first term inside. There's a first term outside. That's all I'm looking at when I divide. No matter how ugly these things get, you're simply looking at one thing divided by one thing. What's x to the fourth, which is positive x to the fourth divided by positive x squared? X to the second. What kind of x to the second? Positive. positive. Okay, so make sure those positive and negative things are sticking in your head as you're doing these problems. You're focusing on signs as you're dividing. Everything has a sign. Every sign is important. So positive x to the fourth divided by positive x squared makes positive x squared. 4 minus 2 makes 2. Again, we're subtracting powers. We multiply our answer times the entire divisor. This time the divisor is three pieces, so x squared times x squared makes x to the fourth. x squared times negative 2x makes negative 2x cubed. x squared times positive 1 makes positive 1x squared. 1 is optional on that. If you put it fine, if you don't put it fine, just know that it's there. Okay. So just like the last problems, I got an answer, and I multiply the answer times this. This time I got three pieces, though, because there's three pieces being divided into it. This is the product of which I'm supposed to change the signs of that product. So this x to the fourth is positive becomes negative. 2x cubed is negative becomes positive. x squared is positive becomes negative. Every single sign changes. People who mess up on this problem type right now at this moment in time when they're practicing the skill, that's where they mess up. They change this, they don't change those. So be careful that every single sign changes. We combine our like terms. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth cancels. Just like the last problem, the first object always cancels. These you have to add or subtract based on the signs you're looking at. Opposite sign subtract, 1x cubed, negative bigger, negative. Opposite sign subtract, 4x squared, opposite sign subtract, positive bigger, positive. x cubed is not less than x squared. Again, if this is less than this, we're done. If this is not less, then we have to keep going. So since that's not less, we've got to bring everything else down, minus 7x plus 2, and we go again. First object now is negative 1x cubed. I'm dividing by positive x squared. Negative divided by positive makes a negative. x cubed divided by x squared makes x to the first. Ones are optional there. 1x to the first. The 1 is understood. The 1 is understood. I'm just going to write minus x. I take my negative x times my positive x squared makes negative x cubed. My negative x times negative 2x makes positive 2x squared. My negative x times positive 1 makes negative x. That's my product. I'm going to change the signs of my product. Every sign becomes its opposite. Negative x cubed becomes positive. Positive 2x becomes negative. Negative x becomes positive. Every single sign changes. Then it's just a matter of adding like terms, of which I've already lined them up. Negative 1x cubed plus 1x cubed cancels. 4x squared minus, or minus, yeah, minus 2x squared, the signs are different, so I subtract. 4 is bigger, so it's positive. 7x and x, negative and positive, are opposite signs I subtract. 7 is bigger, so it's negative, and then plus 2. Different signs subtract, 4 is bigger, positive. Different signs subtract, 7 is bigger, negative. 2 gets brought down, these cancel. Every single one of those add like terms is just, should I add or subtract? What should the sign be? Every time, ask yourself those questions. Should I add or subtract? Subtract because the signs are different. Should it be positive or negative? Positive because it's positive is bigger. Negative because negative is bigger. All right? Every single one of those is the same types of questions every single time. Ask yourself the questions in your brain. Your brain will answer the questions for you. You'll understand the rules. 2x squared. Same power as this. It's not less. We've got to do it again. 
2x squared, positive 2x squared divided by positive x squared makes positive 2. Again, every sign, every number has to have a sign, plus or minus. Don't just put 2, put plus 2. Positive 2 times positive x squared is positive 2x squared. Positive 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x. Positive 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. We're going to change the signs of the product. The product is positive, so negative. Negative, so positive. Positive, so negative. Every sign changes to its opposite. We combine like terms. The first objects are complete opposites, which they always should be if you do it correctly. 2x squared minus 2x squared. These signs are different, so I subtract to get 2x. 6 is bigger, so it's negative. 2 minus 2 makes 0. They cancel also. So my remainder here is negative 2x. And I know it's the remainder because this power is less than that power. Once this power is less than that power, you're done dividing. If it's the same, you can still divide. If it's bigger, you can still divide. If it's less, you can't divide anymore. So this number 2x is negative 2x, right? So my remainder term will be negative. And then I put my 2x, my remainder on top, I put the divisor, which is this, on the bottom. x squared minus 2x plus 1. And that is the quotient of those two polynomials. Okay. Every one of these problems allows you to practice the technique three to four times. Sometimes two times on a simpler ones. But two, three, four times you're going to practice this technique. Pay attention to detail on what your signs are. When you're multiplying, the same sign gets a positive. Different signs get a negative. When you have the decision, should I add or subtract, the signs being the same tell you to add, the signs being different tell you to subtract, the bigger number determines the sign of the answer in those situations. Pay attention to detail in your rules of algebra as you go through the process. Take your time until you get better at it, then you can try and speed yourself up. Take your time going through the process to start off with.